Last time we played... Oh, man. Did we do the bear? Last time we played, was it the bear? I think it was the bear. No, it was the snake. I remember now. It was the snake. Um, okay, so we have ox in the fields and leech in the swamp. We will do... We'll do leech. Visit the sick house west of the swamp. Oh yeah, because we talked to Granny over here, right? Let me get some of her stuff. Yeah, thank you, Granny. Sorry. Feel better. Here we go. To the sick house. Ah, oh. Hold on now. This sick house is full to the brim with festering with dis and festering with disease. Don't you know there's a deadly plague going around? A plague, you say? This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, it's terrible. It affects the young and the old, the healthy and infirm alike. We're so swamped with patience, I can barely catch my breath. So what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be inside, tending to the ill? We've just got so many bodies piling up. Someone has to bury them before they spread sickness further. She drops her voice to a whisper, looking ashamed. It's gotten so crowded. I've had to dump some in the swamp. That seems unethical. But don't worry, the leech is inside working her miracles on other patients. They couldn't be in better hands. The leech? That's the doctor of this place? The best in the land! I don't dare think about how much worse it would be without her skills. I need to speak to her, checking up on someone who came through here. Sorry, I cannot in good conscience allow a person of your... Uh, years to enter such an infectious space without proper inoculation. But with all the patients, we're low on medicine and I'm afraid I don't have any to spare. Bah! What's a simple booster shot made from anyway? There's plenty of medicinal ingredients right here in the swamp. I'll go get them myself. Well, it's a pretty basic prescription. If you bring me the components, I'll be able to mix and administer it. Then you can go inside. I'll need three milligrams of bug ichor extract, five grams of toxic thistle powder, and some lazy grass to numb the pain. Oh, pain, you say? Mm. Okay, lady. Toxic thistle. That's. I think I just need the shears for that one. I'll be back. To ease the pain. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey. Wink. I'll get some more too. While I'm here. Come here, Froggy! Come here! Ha. A little trial here, too. Alright, I got my stuff. Booster me up, baby! I am ready to be boosted. Here you go. Uh, Bug Iker. You place a sloshing jar of Iker in the nurse's hands. She inspects it suspiciously, but doesn't ask where it came from! I need three milligrams of- okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thistle. You snap off a few spiny thistles and pass them to the nurse. She is careful not to prick herself on the sharp ends. And lazy grass. The nurse takes the dry grasses you have been so careful to keep intact and immediately crushes them into powder. The nurse nods at you, gathering all the ingredients into a small, hand-sized mortar. You hold your breath as she smashes everything into a slimy, stinky liquid. Not the most pleasant stuff. But I can assure you it beats growing lumps where no lumps should be. Speak for yourself. One can never have enough lumps. <laughs> the nurse shrugs at you, sucking up the bubbling mixture into an oversized syringe. She gestures for you to hold out your arm. Oh, I hate needles. Oh, woohoo. I hate it. After stabbing into your flesh several times. Stop it. Stick it. Oh. She fails to find any veins with the point of the needle. Sorry. Seem to have some strange physiology? Bah, give it here, I'll do it. You seize the injector and jab it into your arm without further fuzz. Cool sensation climbs into your fingertips. You doubt the medicine will have any effect, but at least it should make the nurse happy. There, I feel much better. Can I go inside now? Oh, yes, yes, of course! You should be immune to the plague for the time being. Just be quick, the leech is very busy. Yikes. Ah, chest. Can I... No, no chest for me? What is this? Blasphemy. Mmm, bone. What? Oh, oh, oh. I'm behind. Oh, okay. 
Nothing there. Alright. Let's go see what she has to offer. Yikes! Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Hey! Give me all that. Yikes. I think that's our guy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, maybe he's our guy, actually. One of them is it. I know that for sure. Bleh. <laughs> oh, sick noises. Oof. Oh, that's so gross. Uh, nothing here for me. What is that tincture? Alright. The doctor slithers from one patient to another, checking off little boxes on a clipboard. From under her wide-brimmed hat, she appears to notice you enter, but pays you no mind. You must be the leech. I was hoping you could help me find one of your patients. Do you have the symptoms? Crackling of bones, oozing eyes, skin rot, perhaps a yellow liver? Let's get you examined. The leech extends her toothy snout, prodding your body and searching for some hidden malignancy. You slap her away with a swift of your palm. Psh! If it's sickness you're looking for, you won't find it on me. My dear, we're all sick with something. Whether it's a broken heart or a broken arm, we all suffer in one way or another. You peer through her tightly wrapped garments and see a deep darkness underneath. Despite the warmth in her words, there is a sense of hunger and urgency in her tone. I am here to heal, to mend, to put all of your troubles at ease. Now tell me, what ails you? I told you already, I'm in perfect health. I'm here to find someone, a man who came through here with a sprained ankle. Half the patients who come in here have a twisted this or a broken that before the pox sets in, sets in that is. Can you be more specific? What does he look like? Oh, I, um, I'm not sure. Well then, how do you expect me to help you? Come back to me when you know who you're looking for. You look about the sick house at the coughing, wheezing, bedridden souls. Perhaps some of them will be able to identify the missing husband? Uh, hey, you! Ooh, leave me alone! You don't know where that short fellow got to, eh? It's that man with the beard. Oh, It's the beardy guy you're looking for. Oh. You got a beard? This patient just stares into the distance, silent. It's the beardy guy you're looking for. You don't know where that short fellow got to, eh? Can't find the short guy? Sorry, can't help you. See over here? None of these people got beards! They're sleeping. Looks like they could use the rest, huh? A husband? Yeah, yeah, darker complexion than me. Beard? Shorts? None of these guys have beards! You have a beard? You don't know where that short fellow got to? He just stares blankly. Uh. Oh! Maybe she just knows. Well, do you have any better idea who exactly you're looking for? Shorter than most. I'm going to need a bit more than that. Dark in features. Narrowing it down. Give me something else. Uh, beard. Ah, yes. I remember that poor man now. He came in with a swollen ankle. But on his journey through the swamp, he must have contracted the plague. His conditions declined rapidly. I'm sorry to say, in the end there wasn't much I could do for him except make him comfortable. He's dead? What sort of sick house is this anyway? My condolences, really. Now if you excuse me, I have to get back to doing what I can for the living. At least tell me where his wife might collect his body. The nurse outside seemed to be having trouble keeping track of them all. I'm sorry, that information is reserved for the next of kin. Judging by your physique, I wouldn't say you were related to the deceased in the slightest. The doctor turns away from you in to prepare vials of medicine. Better return to the old woman in the swamp with bad news. Aww, I forgot! No! He passed away. <sighs> we're gonna have to go find his body somewhere. Woman! I'm sorry for your louse, but he gone. 
He really gone. He dead and gone. In a better place. In a less swampy place, I'm sure. Uh, where am I? I actually have no idea where I am. Uh, wait, where actually am I? I don't know how this controls work. Okay, I need to go up and right. Is this him? That doesn't look like a guy with a beard. It might be one of- is this where she was saying that she, this is where she throws people in the swamp? That is awful. Horrible. <sighs> Do you have news of my husband? He should have been back from the sick house by now. You bow your head in condolence. I'm sorry to say that your husband has passed away. The leech said he fell ill with the play. Rather than grief, an expression, an expression of mild annoyance crossed the woman's face. Oh, what a nuisance! You don't seem upset by the news. Well, he was getting on in years. It was bound to happen sooner or later. I just didn't think it would be from some measly plague of all things. So, where is the fool now? Not sure. The leech wouldn't tell me. But her assistant mentioned having to dispose the dead out in the swamp. Ah, brimstone and bandersnatch. I know I'm already in your debt, sister. Oh, yeah, sister, but can I ask you for another favor? I suppose I've already stuck my foot in this mess. What is it? There's an old circle of power just west of here. It served me well in my younger years, and I expect it's still got some juice left. I need you to dust it off and fire it up again. I'd go do it myself, but by the time I get there, my poor husband's body would already be reduced to worm parts. <laughs> What am I to do with this circle? You're a knowledgeable lass. The engraving on the obelisks uh, should explain the rest. Okay, I think I know what she's talking about. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so go west and then down. Uh, down. Down here? Yay! Okay. You brush off a blanket of thick moss and lichen from the ancient magical pattern carved into the earth. The essence of power wakes your touch, bringing slight warmth to your fingertips. Four black stone obelisks surround the ritual spot. You'll need to scrape off more overgrown decay to read the runic lettering engraved on their surfaces. Okay. The western obelisk requires a source of undead animation. Necrotic charm. Okay, what does this one need? The southern obelisks ask for a collection of bodily fluids to breathe new life into an unliving vessel. Apothecary humors. The eastern obelisks yearns for the tooth of a dragon. You haven't seen any real dragons in years, but who knows what's out in the swamp? Drake Fang. I know where the Drake is. The northern obelisks ask for proof of the dead. The afterlife is nothing if not bureaucratic. A death certificate from the leech would fit the bill. Alright, let's go to the leech first. That's the easiest one. And then, shoot. Uh, H. Where? You gonna make this? Oh, brother. You gonna make this? Wow, okay. So I'm gonna need to get more blood. And the pumpkin jack bone. And wicker work. Oh, I got the wicker work. And pumpkin jack bone. Okay, so we'll do everything we can while we're in the swamp, and then I'll head over to that place. Mm, I don't know how to kill the drake, so we'll probably go to the drake next. Hello? No, you're not. You're not who I'm looking for! Hey! The shadowy doctor prowls amongst the cots, eyeing the weakest patients with a dark hunger. She snaps with a quivering tentacle at you as you approach. Not a step closer. Who knows what sorts of disgusting maladies you might be carrying. Yes, yes, I'm a pox-ridden wretch, I know. But I need a death certificate from you. Specifically one of the short-bearded man we spoke about. His wife is in no condition to roll her chair through the swamp, so she asked me to collect it for her. I don't simply give out death certificates to anyone claiming to be someone's aunt, grandmother, or friend. This is a legitimate operation. She turns her back to you and rummages through a nearby medicinal closet. Now where has that serum got to? Don't tell me we're already out. 
What's the matter? Out of stock? It's a shame you don't have time to go out yourself. She tenses at your continued presence. What are you getting at? Medicine for the for that death certificate, I think, is that the, 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 the medicine for that death certificate. I think that's a fair trade, don't you? You would barter when people's lives are on the line. Fine, you'll have your paperwork, you filthy degenerate. <laughs> Clearly too angry to speak with you. She shoves a list of required medicinal supplies into your hand. Oh, gosh. The leech inspects the barbs before placing each of them carefully into a velvet-lined container alongside other excruciating-looking instruments. Uh, dragonfly wing. Oh, I'm going to forget all this. All right, let's work on this. Dragonfly wing melting poultice. Mending poultice. Okay. What can I craft? I need to craft three of these, right? And then dragonfly stuff. Okay, that should be very easy to get. Let's do it. Here's your little goodies, you evil little thing. Uh, bending poultice. The leech stuffs the poultice into an unsanitary looking cabinet without a second glance. <coughs> uh, and then dragonfly wing. The leech takes the wings with a surprisingly delicate touch and lays them out carefully along the surface of a clear shelf. I've run your errands. Now I really must insist on that death certificate. There's no need to get prickly. I have your papers right here. The leech extends her moist arm and thrusts a poorly written note into your hands. You shake the mucus from the paper and try to decipher the loopy, illegible scribbles. You're not even sure that the leech spelled the poor man's name right, but you suppose it's better than nothing. <laughs> Next time I need a doctor's note, I'm better off forging the signature myself. Thank you. Bye! I'm gonna kill you! Alright, let's go find the drake. The drake is up north, and I kind of want to kill him first. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> it tells me what I'm missing up here. I don't know how I could completely forget that. Oakley Dokley. Uh, up here. No, not you. Don't need you. I need. What do I need? Oh, what was that? Oh, I pissed off a stick. Um, he's up here. Right? Yeah, he's up here. Hey, Bozo, what do you want? Snackrifice. The frick is a snackrifice? Okay. Uh, sacrifice. I need sporific potion. Oh my gosh. I can't craft a bottle, can I? Oh, I need a jar of water. I don't have a jar. Okay. Uh, roast beast. Uh, I need spice. I can make spice. Okay. Roast beast. Oh, I need campfire ember now. Great. And then... Goody cow milk. <laughs> and another dragonfly wing. Oh no, this is going to take a minute. Yeah, this is going to be one of the longer ones. These ones are going to get a little more in-depth each time, which I'm totally happy with. Just going to be a lot of running around now. Um, I'm going to try to get everything I need from the swamp first. Alright, here's a bait stick. There you are. Ah, there you are. Ah, gotcha. Oh, I can take the bait stick back. I didn't freaking realize. Oh, you're telling me I wasted a bait stick? Dang it. Okay. I okay. So let's go look at. No. How do I get back to my? I think I just have to. Oh, H. All right. I need this. Which, okay, so that requires me to go there, and then I need this. So I need to get more mosquitoes. And I think I have enough bug ichor, and I have enough frog slime, so I need to get blood. I need to get more blood. Uh, ah, here they are. Snag vine. <laughs> no, 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 wait, no, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Snag vine. Okay, I need twine. Thankfully I can make it. I would have cried. 
All right, all right, you. Ew. Let's get. Can I get multiple? Right here. Nope. Oh, nope. It doesn't count. <laughs> okay, we got it. Aw, oh, you're in for now, buddy. You're in for now. What do I gotta do? Cheers. You're in for now, bucko. Dinner's up. Eat, 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 eat. Aha! Snip, snip, snip. That's all I can get for now. Did you get it? I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Ah, uh, run! Okay. So now we can donate it all. Yay! Easy. This is why we constantly collect materials, even though I'm not collecting materials now. I'm screwing myself over for my future. Wink. A wink. Oh, holy dokely. Um, here we go. The Western Obelisk requires a source of undead animation. A product charm. You place the token of undead into the basin. It flutters like a candle for a moment before the shadowy umbra of the obelisk snuffs it out. Oh. The southern obelisk asks for a collection of bloody fluids to breathe new life into an unliving vessel. Apothecary humors. You fill the bowl with an offering of anatomic liquids. The fluid slowly disappears as if being drained by some unseen thirst, only until the wet residue remains. Oh. The eastern ob obelisk yearns for the tooth of a dragon. You haven't seen any real dragons in years, but who knows what's out in this swamp? You drop the sharp reptilian fang into the stone basin with a heavy clunk. It spins like a top, emitting a high-pitched whine before shattering into a fine white dust. Whoa. The northern obelisk calls out for proof of the dead. The afterlife is nothing of a bureaucratic uh, death certificate from the leech will fit the bill. The humid swamp air has made the paper of the death certificate soft and damp. As you drop it into the bowl, it decomposes before your eyes until nothing is left. With the final offering accepted, the obelisks surrounding the circle begin to hum. You can hear a strange melody playing through their discordant tones. The carvings on the ground burn with renewed energy, driving away the overgrowth. You're quick, you're quick to step away as you feel a vacuous force pull at the circle's center. I suppose that's done the trick. Let's see what the writing has to say for itself now. You rotate your head to read the glowing letters on the edge of the circle. Hmm. Place the vessel of the deceased. Yada yada. Recite the evocation of necrodermis. Blah blah blah. Apply the canopic ointment. Right. Seems straightforward enough. All I need to do now is go fetch the body of that poor fool husband. He should be here in the swamp somewhere. Alright, I'm looking for a guy with a beard. Search the swamp for the husband's body. Why is it zero out of six? That's sad. I'm gonna collect some stuff on the way, but he should be. Ugh, this must be where that nurse has been dumping the surplus of corpses. I'll need to take a closer look at each one to find the right fellow. Okay. Similar, perhaps, but not the right body. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. Eat. Can you, can you guys shut up? There we go. This isn't the right one. Okay. Come here. Uh, this isn't um, this isn't it. Unfortunate, nonetheless. Not the husband. This, the, this one. Okay. Come here, all of you. All right. Quiet. Peace and quiet, please. There we go. Mine. Mine. Not this one. This poor soul doesn't. Ooh. Where on earth is that stinking body? You'd think I'd be able to find him among the dead here. You watch a particularly bloated fly land on a rotting hand poking out of the muck. Its disgusting proboscis probes at the withered flesh. <gasps> Two globular eyes slowly unglue themselves and swivel to boggle at the insect. Oh, a frog king! A huge slime cover covered tongue lashes out and pulls the hapless fly into a gaping toothless maw along with the most of the sunken corpses. Well, I suppose that explains where my misplaced man went. Oh, he ate him! Oh my gosh, he's huge! <laughs> he's so big! Hey, buddy. Broke? Can it be? Has a lovely young morsel wandered its way to my palace? You call this filthy bog a palace? 
He throws his head back, shaking the swamp with a burbling laughter. Smaller frogs and newts scurry out of the way to avoid being crushed by his enormous bulk. Ha ha ha, wouldn't you? This place is an invertible bounty of insects, and my subjects have uh, such healthy appetites, so they will all grow big and strong. I need you too, but that head of yours looks too hard. I prefer my food brrr, to be nice and tender. Uh, look, you wouldn't be perchance have seen- Look, you wouldn't perchance have seen an old man pass through here, have you? Uh, about yay high, full beard, deadish? The frog taps its fingers against the log, grinning an impossibly large grin. Oh yes, I do believe I've seen the chap. He had such a delectable aroma. And fall off the bone ribs! Ah! But I'm sorry to say that once something goes down the hatch, it never sees the light of day again. We'll see about that. I'm sure I can come up with something with some just desserts for you. The frog king rolls his eyes around and around as if daring you to try something. Digestive tablets. Oakily dokily. Uh, I need Eye of Newt and Snail Shell. Eye of Newt. I don't know if I found any Eyes of Newt. Where would I... No! Don't hit me, please! Ow! Man, there are no Newts here. Ah, wait. Rotting stump. Aw, I thought that was it. Nope, just a snail. <gasps> wait a minute! There's one! It's hiding! Bait stick. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's poisonous. I'll have to bait it. Oh! <laughs> you exploded! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Eww. Well, I got it. And there we go. What the frick is that? A booger? Goblin snot. It is a booger! <laughs> Okay, well, it's a good thing I had a boogie on me. Uh, can I get that coal that fell? Thank you. Okay. I got your tablets, you little froggy goblin. Puke out, Grandpa. This isn't. Uh, digestive tablets. You wrap a juicy looking grub around the medicinal tablets and offer it up to the frog king. Your Majesty, I really must find the whereabouts of that gentleman. Perhaps this small tribute will persuade you to loosen your tongue. The frog gulps down the tantalizing meal without a thought. Ah, a delectable gift. Thank you, my pretty. Now I've already told you where- His nostrils flare for a moment. Then he sneezes, sending specks of wet mucus flying. The frog's throat suddenly expands, filling with gas. The belch that erupts from its lips resonates so loudly that the entire swamp seizes its buzzing. You avert your eyes, but the noise and smell of the frog's explosive eruption almost knock you off your feet. Great Glinda's ghost, what a stench! The frog wobbles on its legs, looking thoroughly emptied. He teeters before rolling its huge body back into the swamp with a thunderous splash. You spot the slippery body of the husband floating in the bog water. Luckily, he seems to be missing some bits and pieces, so he should fold up quite nicely! <laughs> what? Stop him in your satchel. Dang! See you later, sucker! Alright, now we go to the obelisk. I guess this is where we... Are we, are we resing Grandpa from the dead? Oh, no. Oh, the circle of power is ready and waiting for its necromantic purpose. Here you go. With considerable effort, you unfold the husband's decaying body from your satchel and slap it down into the middle of the circle. Invisible shackless shackles wrap around the corpse limbs and pull it spread eagle against the ground. Strange mist rises from the obelisks, casting everything in a sickening green light. Slowly but surely, the corpse begins to levitate off the ground. It rotates to face each obelisk one by one. Oh, oh, get on with it. I haven't gotten all day. You give the rotting head a good kick as it passes by you. Oh, <laughs> ew. That's a beard! With a gasp of stale air, the body drops to the ground. Suddenly, it bolts upright. Ugh. Hey! Yeah! The freaking book, dude! No! Leave me alone! In my space! Hey, Grandpa! Well, hello there! You caused me a lot of trouble. You know that? 
The reanimated corpse claws at his throat. Oh, sorry. Wait a moment. Near your feet, you see a disembodied tongue flopping about the ground like a worm. You scoop it up and quickly toss it into the man's gaping mouth. Bleah! Though he moves his jaw, his lurching voice seems to emanate from someplace beyond. Murderer! What? I am not. You were quite dead when I found you. No! Each murdered me! He clutches at his hollow chest as if trying to feel his heart beating. Gave me plague! Drained my blood! Leech murdered others! He swings a limp arm towards the body-filled bog. I knew there was some awful stink about that sick house. What sort of doctor infects her own patients? Check her office! Find proof! Don't you worry, I'll make sure that Parasite gets what's coming to her. But you should head back home. Your wife is worried half to death about you. He turns and looks longingly over his shoulder. You can hear his vertebrae popping! Yes, I late! As he shambles into the choking mist, he gives you a crooked nod of thanks. Aww! Alright, Leechy Woman is going down! She freaking is just killing people! She's a leech! Who let her in? How did she become a doctor in the first place? That's what I wonder. Maybe she was just like, just always, always giving the play. Like, I wonder what we gave the nurse. Well, I think the nurse isn't in on it. But, I was gonna say, what if her booster shot was actually the plague that she gave us? Ah, yeah, excuse me, don't mind me. <laughs> While the leech is busy with her patients, you rifle through the contents of the various cabinets in her office. Mostly dried herbs and potions, nothing seems out of the ordinary. That is until you notice a suspicious looking bookcase set against the wall. The books are all fake, just chopped down spines glued to a solid plank. Your fingers race across the medical titles and quickly find a loose volume. With a click of a switch, the whole bookcase swings open to reveal a secret compartment. Ooh. Your heart jumps at the sight. Racks upon racks of bottled blood are arranged like fine wines. Each vessel meticulously catalogs the name, description, and age of its source. It looks like that thirsty slug's been sapping the living for years. On a nearby table, you spy a decanter half-filled with ruby-red liquid. You wonder whose blood it contains. Hmm. A dash of salt would remind that slimy worm that there's worse things out there than blood suckers. Oh! Salt the leech's wine. Oh, that's wine. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I? Please tell me I have enough for salt. Please, 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 please. Salt, salt, salt. No! Yes! <laughs> uh, what is that? Embalming salts. Uh, useful against bloodsuckers and king bloodsuckers. Hey. Embalming salts. We don't have the docks. How are we gonna get embalming salts? Uh. Hey, you know embalming salts? Always remember to cover your mouth when you cough. Thank you. Embalming salts. Oh, is this embalming salts? Because. Yeah! Okay. Sweet! Make the salt. Aha! I'm ready! You're so screwed, lady! <laughs> is this gonna kill her outright? Or is this gonna be like the start? Are we just like harassing her? No, I think this has to kill her. I think this is definitely what's gonna put her into couple. Let's, let's see. Oh, lady! Ah. Hey! Uh oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you specifically. <laughs> like, hey, I'm here to poison you. Uh, there we go. Right? Yes! You sprinkle a generous amount of embalming salts collected from the graves of the leech's victims into the decanter. As the salts dissolves into the bloody cocktail, you hear the telltale squelching of the good doctor's approach. What are you doing? Can't you see that this is my private office? I've already I already helped you enough, so there's no reason you ought to be here. 
She hastily shuffles you out of the room. Now get out! This place is only for the sick. You certainly are, you're certainly right about that. You walk just out of sight before doubling back to hide behind the withered get well bouquet. You peer at the vexed leech as, he, as she slithers around her office, checking every cabinet and locker for tampering. She mutters something expletive about nosy old women. <laughs> Satisfied, she sighs with relief and reaches to pour herself a glass from the tainted decanter. Ah, that addition of black fever adds a certain nutty quality. Maybe it will pair well with an infusion of peat moss palsy in the next batch. She takes a sip, waiting just a moment before throwing her head back and guzzling it all down. Ooh. Mm, lovely, sharp flavor. Full body, too. Suddenly, the leech snaps to attention. Her limbs dart out, writhing with uncontrollable gestures. She stabilizes herself against the table as sweat spools on her brow. The decanter shatters against the floor and an explosion of glass. What's happening? The leech spasms as the tendrils of ghostly spirits begin to suck the moisture from her body. You watch as she dwindles in size, shrinking like some horrible raisin. Ooh! Yeah, you get it, you little raisin! You inspect the mummified worm, pressing it between your fingers lightly. Trained by the very spirits she was supposed to be healing. In your fingertips, you make out the faintest of heartbeats. The soul of the leech. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I definitely think. Oh, I don't believe it. This was happening right under my nose. Yeah, hopefully, all these people will be healed. Um, I don't know if it actually changes. Maybe she's just going to be chilling there, helping them. Helping at least. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. The last one for this uh, section will be the Ox in the Field, which I am very excited for. Um, I think that one's a pretty good one.